An old shopping strip at Lincoln and Weinbach in Evansville has a whole new look and a whole new purpose. What was once a bank branch and shops is now a vital resource for the University of Evansville and the mental health community. And joining us now to talk more about this is Dr. Kevin Jordan. He is the Director of Clinical Psychology at the University of Evansville. Thank you so much for joining us today to talk about this. Yeah, uh, we, were just, we were just talking about how the, the transformation of that building right there, how it looks so different, and the purpose there is so different. Tell us about the mental health and wellness clinic going in there. Yeah, so the mental health and wellness clinic in the Emily M. Young Assessment Center uh, was designed to help the community and also be a place where our PsyD students can see clients there. And so each year we're bringing in to 10 to 15 PsyD students, Doctor of Clinical Psychology students. We started our first cohort this uh, semester and in their second years they'll uh, start seeing clients there. And the faculty will as well. And so uh, the goal is, is to meet the mental health needs of, of the Evansville community. So how did this come about? Was, was this driven by a need in the community or, or yeah. why, why now and why this? Yeah, tremendous need in the community. And okay. so wait times in the area can often exceed eight months, oh one year. Goodness. And for assessments, it's even worse. Uh, and so University of Evansville did a good job of kind of assessing what the, what the medical needs are in the community and mental health needs were rising to the top. And so uh, in terms of developing graduate programs at the University of Evansville, they, they identified a need with mental health and a doctor of clinical psychology is a great program to do that. Okay. And you mentioned assessment is taking even longer than actual treatment. Yeah. You have the assessment center specifically designed for that. Talk about the Young, mm -hmm. the Emily Young Assessment Center. Yes. Yeah, so the Emily Young Assessment Center mm -hmm. was uh, uh, designed and, and built through a gift from Bob Jones, the board of uh, trustees uh, individual at University of Evansville, the chairman. And then from the Young family who, who lost their daughter in 2016, and, and her memory lives this on. This is Judge Young and, yes, and Rose Young. Exactly, yes. okay. and, her, and her memory lives on at, at the clinic. That's and, beautiful. and we had a wonderful dedication for that mm -hmm. uh, a week or two ago. And the goal is to, ha uh, with the funds they contributed, is to purchase a wide variety of assessments so that we can treat conditions such as ADHD, autism, depression, anxiety disorders, and figure out what's going on so that we can best guide treatment. And you were talking about students at U of E being a part of, of the work there. Um, how does that help them, number one, and how does it help the university? But also, how can patients who go there be sure that, you know, these are still students, they're still learning, yeah. so how can they be confident that they're getting the correct treatment and accurate yeah. diagnosis? Yeah, so, so part of the, the training for a PsyD student includes uh, uh, seeing clients at the clinic in their second and third years. And so we go through rigorous steps to approve them to be able to see clients in their second year. So they're in this first year, they're taking a lot of classes on assessment and doing psychotherapy. And when they're starting to see clients in the clinic, it's kind of a slow ramp up. And so we don't throw them into the deep water, number one, but they are uh, supervised by a licensed psychologist. So every room has cameras uh, in them and so you're almost getting treated by two people one a licensed psychologist and, the, and who is functioning uh, to help the professional development of that PsyD student so I find that uh, uh, clients often find this very uh, uh, nice uh, right. to know that they are being watched by two people are getting maximally helpful treatment. And that's got to be great for your program at U of E to be able to offer this type of service for the students, the learning Yeah, a, a yeah. so situation. they can sit down with the supervisor right. and say, this is what you did well in terms of your professional development. Here are some things that we need to work on. Right, okay. Uh, and, and again, for the program, I would think that that would really help also in recruitment and getting people yeah. to come there. Yeah, it's a tremendous clinic. Good. And so in terms of PsyD programs, this is going to be attractive. And we also have an embedded physician assistant so that we'll be able to prescribe psychotropic medications and so our PsyD students will be able to rub elbows with those individuals and learn about the medication side of it and okay. vice versa the physician assistants can learn about the psychotherapy side of it and it's important to note this is this just for U of E students and no. staff okay good question and so uh, U E students will be served but it's community based so I would say at least 90% of who will be serving is in the community in the community yeah. um, you're not open yet tell us when you will be open and how will people be able to come to you if they yeah. feel they need service? So uh, we'll be opening in, in February mm -hmm. and we are developing and hammering out a few more details okay. in terms of being able to get that start 
and we'll be advertising what those phone numbers are in terms of calling calling the desk to be able to Great. set up appointments. We'll put out a lot of the words so that yeah. people know about this, including contacting uh, uh, physician offices in the area to let them know that we're available so that they can send referrals They can to referral. Us. Okay, great. So we let us know. We'll definitely pass that information along. So it'll be coming in February, the mm -hmm. Mental Health and Wellness Clinic at the University of Evansville. Dr. Kevin Jordan, thank you so much for telling us all about that. It's an yeah. important work that you're doing there. We yeah. appreciate it. You're welcome. Thanks thank for having you. me.